very good morning class in the last video we did about the meaning of the earthquake we are in the chapter number 14 natural disaster in the last video we saw what is the meaning of natural disaster what are the various regions through which or by which a natural disaster occur and what are the different types of natural disaster in which in the list we have covered the first one that is earthquake we have talked about the meaning of the earthquake what does the earthquake means and what is the instrument to measure the magnitude of the earthquake and the places we have covered that some places we saw where the Richter scale is, a, is an instrument through which the vibration of the earthquakes are measured or the magnitude of the earthquake is measured is called Richter scale. So we have seen that some of the places where the Richter scale was perhaps more than 8, 0 to 9 is the level through which the Richter scale is counted, 0 to 9 is the measurement unit for Richter scale and after every level there is a tenfold increase means if the 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 there is an increment the moment the Richter scale increases there is a tenfold increase in the magnitude of the earthquake so that is called Richter scale today we are here to discuss about the destructions and the changes which are caused by earthquake destructions and changes caused by earthquake what are the destructions or what are the changes that can occur when there is an earthquake when we feel the earthquake is there or when there is a destruction what sort of destruction it can create so we will see the disadvantages of the earthquake at the same time we will have some advantages given we will talk about the advantages given means every coin has two sides the negative and the positive so first we will talk about the negative side negative of earthquake then we will talk about the positive side come to the book page number 91 destructions and the changes caused by the earthquake <clears throat> the vibrations cause extensive damage on the surface of the earth Buildings are destroyed and rails and roofs are damaged on mountain slopes, landslides occur. The first damage that it creates or that it causes, that it disturbs the ecological balance, the surface of the earth is disturbed, whatever stands on the surface of the earth, whether it is a building, whether, whether it is a bus, whether it is a transporting channel, whether it is a road, everything is disturbed. So it creates a destruction, whatever is present on the surface of the earth. Second. Towns and cities are obliterated as a result of certain strong tremors. See, if we talk about the towns and cities, if we talk about the metropolitan cities or big towns like uh, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, if we talk about these area towns, the cities, the buildings in these cities are basically constructed on one to one, means without leaving much of the gap between one house to the other house, many houses are constructed. Just because the area is less, more population is there, that is why. So, as a result, whenever there is an earthquake, if one part of the building is disturbed, the other is bound to be disturbed. The neighboring house or the neighboring building is bound to be disturbed because the effect of one captures or damages the other. Third is, when earthquakes originate near the coast, huge tidal waves cause <coughs> submergence of land as a result some islands are formerly submerged and new islands are formed now submergence is basically uh, the word submergence means at something which is covered by water now all the areas which are near to the coastline near to the river line near to the sea line are covered by water sometimes a new water uh, a new island can be discovered a new route can be discovered so that is submergence Fourth is many times earthquake cause landslides in hilly, hilly areas. So hilly area areas are basically uh, the areas which are carved out of the mountains, of the rocks. So the effect of earthquake is mostly disturbing at such places. 
The examples of such place would be the Vashnu Devi Mandir in Jammu and Kashmir, wherein wherever there is a uh, movement or there is, a, there is a sudden vibration, it disturbs the life of the people completely over there. The property and the life both is lost. Fifthly, sometimes the earthquake causes sudden and permanent change in river pools. Rivers change their ways. They uh, try or they find the different paths to flow. That is because of the moment of the uh, mental ore crust which is beneath the earth. That changes. As a result, the river system changes. And the last point, which is the positive point, which is the advantage of the earthquake, is sudden uplift and horizontal displacement of the earthquake crust sometimes reveal new sources of mineral which can be easily obtained and mined. This is the positive aspect of the earthquake. All the five points, all the uh, points which we covered, were the negative, were the disadvantages of the earthquake. But this is the positive one. This point says that whenever the earthquake takes place, there is a possibility that new minerals are obtained, which can be used for vivid purposes, for different purposes. Now, new minerals, it is very hard to find out the mineral. So sometimes when uh, the core of the earth is disturbed, when there is a defragmentation beneath the earth, it results into a newer sort of mineral which can be used for different purposes. So this is a positive aspect of earthquake. If there is an earth effect, if there is an earthquake effect, it results sometimes into a positive motion or it ends into a positive motion. So this is about the earthquake, the structures or the changes which causes the causes uh, uh, in the surroundings or which are caused by the earthquake. Or you can see after you can say after effect of earthquake. What are the after, after effects of earthquake? So class, it is your duty to learn these points. All the uh, points are very important. The questions can be asked in the examination. What are the after effects of earthquake? Or what are the destructions or changes caused by the earthquake? So you should keep in mind. Okay, class. Thank you.